These are tough times for EU solidarity and cohesion. Britain threatening to leave the club if its people vote against membership. The Schengen Agreement on a borderless Europe also under threat from the tide of refugees. Just two of the hot topics under discussion in next week's plenary session in Strasbourg. I think we'll be getting a good deal. Has Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron secured a deal with his European compatriots on the package of reforms he's been pushing for? The outcome of tough negotiations on issues like the single market, migrant oh, welfare yeah. rights and the depth of integration should be announced in February. On it, potentially, hangs the future of the UK in the EU. In Parliament, there will be a debate on Wednesday on February's meeting of EU heads of state and government, at which the negotiations with the UK will be the headline topic along with migration. Talking of migration, the Schengen area, almost four and a half million square kilometers of border-free Europe, is also under threat, with some countries reintroducing border controls to manage the flow of refugees. Some people say if Schengen is under threat, the European Union itself is also under threat. So, where is Schengen headed? MEPs will try to answer that in a debate on Tuesday. Also on Tuesday, the €3 billion Euro package devoted to helping Turkey deal with gigantic flows of Syrian refugees and stop them travelling onto Europe will come under scrutiny during a debate. I work, therefore I am. But what if I don't declare the work I do? Does it follow from a purely philosophical point of view that I work, therefore I am not? It's a conundrum too far for the EU, which is seeking to create a platform to help member states fight undeclared work, a way, they say, to boost the formal job market and combat bogus self-employment and tax evasion. Parliament will debate the issue on Tuesday. And now for some other news in brief. On Tuesday, the President of Estonia, Thomas Hendrik Ilves, will be making a keynote address with the President of Nigeria, Mohamedou Buhari, elected last year, taking the platform the following day. On Wednesday, MEPs will debate ending sexual harassment of women in public places. This follows the New Year sexual assaults in Germany. Also on Tuesday, MEPs will vote on a planned trade pact with 22 countries designed to build trade in banking, telecoms and health. This is the Trade and Services Agreement, or TISA. Finally, MEPs will have the chance to demonstrate their determination to reduce the harmful effects of diesel emissions in Europe following the VW emissions fixing scandal last year. They'll vote on a proposal to veto European Commission plans to raise the limits for nitrogen oxides by more than 100%, arguing the rise would undermine the enforcement of existing EU standards. The vote will take place on Wednesday. That's it from a packed and varied agenda. Enjoy the week.